Hi everyone, this video is about to upload an image in React.js with Node.js in MySQL database. Database maybe you are using MongoDB, but I am using MySQL database and displaying that back. Okay, first we will upload that to the Node.js, then we will uh, store that in the MySQL database, then we will fetch that then that and display that on the uh, browser. So let's check it. Okay, we will build something like this. Okay, let's create this one, upload it. See, we got it. So first we will store upload that to the database using node.js then we will display that back so let's get started okay before starting if you are new to my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe it and like the video you have to set up the environment for our front end and back end side so first of all we will uh, let's uh, create the environment for our server side so for the server side first we will create a folder for example this folder which i have created react mysql inside that create another folder like this okay server folder and after that uh, run this command inside this folder okay npm init y so it will create a package.json file inside that okay for first time after that run these all commands okay npm install express which is a node.js framework mysql for mysql course to access our api inside our uh, react app and node mount to refresh our server side code automatically when we make changes and motor and path will use for file uploading so after installing these, so it will be um, install these node modules and these package log .json, these files. Okay, then create a server.js file. Okay, so in that in that file we will write our server side code. And for the front end, just create your React app. Okay, simply create your React app as I have created. So now we will start our coding for to upload an image and display that. So first of all, um, this file upload file is imported here in app.jsx. Okay, in app, this app is imported in, and our main are index.jsx. So let's write something in our uh, file upload or FCE React functional component. So here inside this, we will just class name container, and here we will have a button for to import uh, a file. Okay, we will have input field uh, type would be a file and a button upload so we have this input file uh, fill in a uh, file okay whenever we make some changes for example when we select a file we should so store that somewhere so let's write and change event on this uh, handle file handle file let's create this handle file function const handle file it's equal to we will get an event here let's uh, first of all create two variables const just one variable const file we will store our file inside this file set file is equal to we will use use state hook for that use state hook and now let's update our use state hook so we will write set file e dot target dot files zero okay the first one because it is in array so we will get the, just the first file and we will store that inside this file after storing that uh, i think it is not uh, let's make yeah that is okay now so after creating this so whenever we press this button we should call another function on click handle upload let's create this function inside this function now we will upload our file to our server side okay to the server side so before uh, uploading our file let's write something uh, something uh, means the boilerplate code for our server side in this server uh, server.js uh, file we will write first of all import uh, express from express and also import mysql from mysql import cars from cars uh, one thing else i should mention uh, previously we installed two packages node main and uh, another one was 
yeah, this, this import that we are using this import that we are using and the node man the node man is refreshing our uh, server side code whenever we make changes automatically so whenever we install node man then we should write in our package.json like this okay start node man our file name server.js okay and also to use import in our server side code import is not working by default okay so to use this import you should write like this okay type module this one type module then import will work yeah after importing this let's import multer from multer and also import path from path yeah we imported all uh, important necessary packages so now let's use them first of all we will create an app const app is equal to express call the express method then we will change our um, data to the json format so we will write app that use express dot json format and uh, after that we should use the middleware of course of that use cars should call that now let's create uh, our connection with the mysql database so for that i will write uh, const db is equal to mysql dot create connection and we will pass the properties host local host because we are working locally local host is the host with us and user is a root by default and password we didn't set up the password leave it empty and uh, also the database the which database we should use let's mysql database let's come here to the mysql database okay here in the sign up we have users okay this user table we will use let's remove these fields from images okay we will update our images we will assign our images here upload here okay in sign up database we have users table let's assign this sign up and after that let's run our server update lesson we will assign our port number that is 8081 uh, and also let's create a function in that we will write console that log running means our server is running so to run the server we can simply write like this okay let's remove this and create from scratch one and we should move cd that server to the server side npm start so it will start yeah let's check it here it's running see the message has printed running this message yeah our server side is running now so to run our um, react app so for that we will light cd front end and let's write npm start uh, sorry but you know we should write npm run new yeah that has started so let's move to this url let's come here our app is running see we have this uh, upload file input field so whenever uh, we press this upload button so we should move to our server side we should create an api here now let's create that for example app dot and that would be post the method would be post and the url would be upload slash we will get a request and a response so before implementing this we should call a middleware here this meta multer we should use first of all multer okay to handle our uh, file that we have uploaded so for that let's write the boilerplate code for the multer const storage 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 is equal to multer dot storage uh, disk storage okay so this has uh, uh, two options or parameters we can see that the first one is the destination okay for the destination it means where you would like to store your file it will have a function the request file and callback function let's create this 
so we will just use callback function so to call the callback we will write like this okay first parameter would be uh, error for the error we will write null and the second one would be the path where you would like to store your images we would like to store our images inside server folder inside public inside the images so we will write like this public slash images here we would like to store our images then the second one is the file name again we have request response file and callback function here we will handle our file name again we will call cb callback function inside that first one is the error we don't need for that null and then which here we will handle file name whenever we are storing in this image folder which name we should assign for that okay so we will first of all take file dot field name okay so it will take the field name field name is the one that we are uh, passing from this uh, a file folder okay for example we are assigning image name or file name whatever we are assigning so it will get that plus we will attach with that this sign minus okay or underscore we will attach that plus we will assign date dot now dot now function and after that we will use uh, path dot extension name file dot original name so it will take what it will do I will just explain it to you so first of all it will take the name that we are passing from our file upload folder that would be image or upload okay whatever we assign then it will attach this underscore then the time in millisecond okay then it will attach the extension of our file okay so it is done now so now let's uh, use here so now let's write const upload we will name it upload is equal to multer and we will pass it storage and we will pass the storage variable that we has created this one okay okay so now we will call this upload a middleware here let's come here in this upload API inside between this function and this uh, route we will call that upload dot we have different options here okay you can set whatever uh, you need multiple uh, but we need single file to uh, upload okay so let's pass it so here we should write the name that we have passed from this file upload okay uh, we will name it uh, uh, image okay later we will assign use that there so we will name it image so after this let's write let's console it console.log request.file so it will print all information about file okay so let's pass from our front end so here we will we first of all we will create a forum data object const forum data is equal to new forum data we will create this object and we will attach our file with this uh, so we will write uh, form data dot append name it image so see we name it image as we assign used it there image and we will attach our file with this yeah we did it so after that uh, let's uh, call our api access we will use access for that dot post we should write our URL here but first of all we should import axis import axis from axis and here we would like to write our uh, URL our URL would be like something like this okay localhost that should be 80 81 copy this and use it here and also upload attach it upload with that this one okay this upload and after that we will get a result let's just display that there was any error
okay so now let's try it and see what happens first we will come to our uh, node yeah here what we are getting from this console okay from this console that we wrote let's try it let's come here and also let's come here to the console what we get at the front end from our console let's choose a file oh these are all thumbnails let's press this one and upload it after upload let's check it undefined see we didn't get our um, image so let's check it what is the problem uh, i think i didn't pass uh, the data yeah i didn't pass the data let's pass it form data yeah now let's try it again let's press the save we got an error access error uh, let's check it here where is the error db null public images yeah db is not a function where we used that let's come here console.log ok db is equal to mysql.cray oh sorry this is cv Now let's try it, load it again, and let's check it now. Yeah, we got this information. See, image this was the name of the image, this is PNG type and public images in this folder, and this is the file name which we have created. Okay, and these are all information about that. So now let's assign and store it in our um, database. To store it in the MySQL database, we will simply come here to the API upload api okay here instead of console we will write our um, uh, query const image is equal to first we will get our image so for that we will like request dot file dot file name okay it will give us our image okay this image is let's check it see this image name it will give us this image name after that let's write our query sql uh, we will just update our database okay that we had before the users okay we will just update let's refresh it we will just update these images let's write sql update uh, users and set image is equal to question mark okay let's write run our query db.query we will pass our sql after that we will attach our image with this and then we will get an error or a result so let's pass our if we got an error we will return result.json a message error else we will return a uh, uh, result return JSON status success okay so we return success status let's come here now whenever we get that so we should uh, display if uh, result uh, data dot status was equal to equal to with success so then we can just console dot log succeeded else print a message failed so now let's check it that we are storing our um, that is updating or not let's come here upload an image let's press this one let's press the update button uh, we got an error let's check it where is the error uh, here is no problem but where we got the error so here is no problem we don't have any problem let's check it uh, we got succeed message okay we got this message so let's refresh our database let's check it see 
the images has saved in these input fields okay so now let's uh, fetch them and display them on the users okay on the screen so we should display them this here on the screen so for that uh, let's write a query we will use use effect hook use effect hook uh, create a function let's write a redefendency and here we will call our axis dot get uh, our api our route just simply like this and we will get a result we will just console the result dot catch if we got any error we'll just display that here okay whenever we uh, run our applications we will get this run this use effect hook and it will goes to um, this route and let's create this route here inside app.get it is just simple as slash and we will get request and response we will write our query const sql is equal to select steric from users and let's uh, run it db.query we will pass our sql here and we will get an error a result if error result dot json error else uh, return mm, return and as we should write here return return result.json we will return our result that we got from running our query so let's check it now let's come here to the console let's refresh our application whenever we refresh so we will get a result from our server side see we got this result we got uh, result the data in two images two records okay so now we will pick just the first one the first image and we will display that so to display that for that uh, uh, yeah by default uh, first of all we should check that is it accessible or not this image okay uh, where is the image let's check it yeah this image is it accessible from our server side or not so for that let's write here uh, first of all our server side slash images folder our images are in the images in this image name so it is not accessible okay so to make it accessible for that we will write in our server side yeah app that use um, express i think that static and we will pass here the public folder yeah it is like this okay we can access now our public uh, folder from our server side okay this is the public and here we have these images so in the M public we have images folder inside that we have these images which we have uploaded okay so we can access this public folder right now so let's check it now see this is the image see we got this image right now okay so now let's come here to the uh, front end and we will just uh, uh, assign the result that we got to our variable okay let's create our variable here const image set so data set data is equal to use state it is in array with us so we will assign something like this set data result the data in the first record the first row assigned to this data so now let's print just the image of that we will come here down and here we will print images mm. and we will just display the image like this data dot uh, image okay data the image it will display that 
from that regard so let's check it what happening uh, we faced with an error uh, const where is where is the mistake let's check it this is should be const yeah let's check it now and let's check again what is the error yeah, we got the result oh no sorry so we should uh, write something like this okay to display the image first of all as we displayed here the image we should uh, just copy this path copy this path and we should attach with that with our image here in the front end let's come here here we should write here first we should write our path okay that we copied and plus data dot image let's check it now let's see we printed our image see the image has printed so let's make it a little bit add some design to this style width should be uh, like 500 pixel it should be 500 pixel see we displayed our image so it was all about this tutorial that uh, posting image to my sql database using node.js and react.js and displaying back them okay so i hope this video was fulfilled for you if you like the video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel like this video and comment down and support us thanks for watching